Back near his goal line. Here's Breeze. He's got his all pro receiver, Michael Thomas. And they take this up near the 30 before he's taken down. A very solid gain of 27. And a nice start there to the aerial attack to pick up the first. And I think preseason is officially over now. Getting into the groove of the regular season, that's a great way to get started. First drive of the season, what a nice completion. Teams would have met more because the cities are only separated by 350 miles, I-10 connecting them. In fact, for New Orleans, Houston is the closest NFL city of any in the league. The momentum shifted to the other side of the football. And Old Mo is a very, very football man. Open man is Michael Thomas. That'll be marked as a 27-yard pickup. And I guess, Charles, sometimes when you have a receiver well over six foot, you do that. Just put it up there, let him grab it, and he did. And it certainly appears like a 50-50 ball, right? We always talk about that when both sides have a chance to get it, the receiver or the guy covering him. But I think the odds actually are in favor of the offense. They can see the ball coming oftentimes before the you absolutely have to get takeaways. You've got to get the ball from them. Yeah, win that turnover battle is going to be key. They didn't get one there, but you get the feeling they keep making... Got a man open, it's Thomas, it's a touchdown for New Orleans. In the final minute of this first quarter. Now a play fake here on first down. He gets it to Thomas. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. Just like that, a pickup of 20 on their first play from scrimmage. <laughs> Come on, one thing for sure. You know that Michael Thomas is going to be the target on a third down pass, and Drew Brees finds him and keeps this drive moving. Has him at the 45 already. From the gun, it's Brees. Gets this to a standout receiver, Thomas. We got this. Seven. They'll go for it. It's Brees. Looking again for Thomas, this time complete. And they're going to be set up down around the 15-yard line. So not only do they convert on fourth, but they pick up 22 yards in the process. So in the second quarter, he's already up over 100 yards receiving now. And isn't 100 the magic number for a really good game for a receiver? So he got a chance to really shatter that and have a profound effect on this game. Into the red zone, it's Breeze. Looking for Thomas, he's got him. Touchdown, New Orleans. Michael Thomas, already his second touchdown here in this opening weekend. And the Saints have taken the lead. Now he's having a nice little first half here, partner. And it's a first half that leaves us anticipating what can still come. I mean, two touchdowns already here through the, the drive. They fake the give. Here's Breeze. He's going to walk one deep left. And that's caught inside the 35. Touchdown, New Orleans. Michael Thomas on his way to a monster game. Three first half touchdowns. And the Saints are able to strike quickly for six. Well, yes, Michael Thomas is a volume receiver, but he can also make some really big plays, especially with Drew Brees throwing the football. I love the way you described it. Volume receiver who can also make big plays. In other words, if you underestimate it, he'll run past you or he'll just jump over the top of you and continue to make those big plays. for Thomas. It's caught inside the 25. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, New Orleans. Michael Thomas on his way to a historic performance. Four first-half touchdowns. And the Saints are able to strike quickly for six.
Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. And Thomas has it. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Give him 18 there, and the second contact came before the ball got there, and the flag is thrown. Timing is everything, isn't it? And it's so hard to come with these great receivers. They have such great body control, and they can fake you out. In this case, play action. Breeze. Looking long. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. And they finally get him down, but not before he reaches the 34. A big play. Breeze finding Thomas. 41 yards. Well, you had all halftime to think about what you wanted to do to start the second half. They came out with a big one. Does that not beg the question? What was happening in the other locker room at halftime? Was that the one play they didn't cover as a possibility? Because they just gave up a big, big game. Now a play fake. Breeze. He'll take a shot for the end zone. Got a man open. It's Thomas. It's a touchdown for New Orleans. Michael Thomas. 34 yards. And the Saints able to stretch that lead out further. Always important to get the first score of the second half. Now you start to pull away a little bit and get some breathing room going. And now we find out about the fortitude of the group that's behind because they were counting on getting into the game a little bit more, right? Maybe they get the first score. That doesn't happen. Look like vintage, old-school coverage, didn't it? Man coverage reminded me of an old Raiders team. They had a Hall of Famer at one corner and a defensive player of the year at the other, and they just locked people down. It's a pickup of 12, and that'll set up. Everyone dialed in. They do go for it. It's Breeze. He throws, and he hits the slant route to Thomas. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. He's going to fire one deep, middle of the field. It's caught at the 10. A big play. Breeze finding Thomas. 51 yards. Excellent execution, and now they're set up nicely. Are they ever? Red zone? I wonder what the next play call is going to be, because after a big play like that, a lot of teams like to use the momentum to launch another one. Things rolling on this drive. Here's Breeze to throw. Looking for Thomas. He's got it. Touchdown, New Orleans. 10 yards on the touchdown pass. And the Saints able to stretch that lead out further. That drive that really increased their cushion felt very military to me. Very precise, methodical. That's one of the words you've taught me. And they just got it done. And slowly but surely now starting to pull away a little bit. Things looking good for them here in the third quarter. Not only pulling away, but you mentioned that slowly but surely. You also drain clock, too, with yep. a drive like that. So you really give yourself an arm. This is third and ten. He'll rifle this one deep right side. He's got a man complete. Just more of the same there, partner. Guys have just been running free in the secondary this entire game. No pass rush. A lot of passes completed. Been an easy day for them. That gets him across midfield now for first and ten. We're good, we're good. I fool, ready. Again, they'll throw with Breeze. This is complete to Michael Thomas. And he's going to get this down near the 30-yard line. Breeze to throw again. Thomas has got it. Complete. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. A good pick up there. You don't have to call the game in fear at all, do you? You just go ahead and play. Yep, confidence with a lead to throw it here. In the got a man open. It's Thomas. It's a touchdown for New Orleans. Ten yards on the touchdown pass. And the Saints able to stretch that lead out further. I think all teams probably like seeing that schedule for the first time. Looking at week one, oh good, we're at home. This is why you want to be home in week one. They're looking sharp. And I agree with you totally. That's what Breeze is looking to throw. He gets it to Thomas. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 
It'll be a same. They put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. 25 yards that time. Second and 15. Off the play fake to Kamara. It's Breeze. They'll let this go for the end zone. And give him another six. It's caught for a touchdown, and the blowout continues.